When I'm shy, I don't act shy. When I'm not even getting it, I feel like mm, it stings, it bites, it hurts that they can't stand it. Don't make, don't. <laughs> My left your ear, right? I'm left on social media. The matter was, people would tell me I see something wrong with your people and leave me out of your frustration. You can rock your body for people to even see and want to be like you. Anything you want to wear, wear it. Aww. You're making me emotional stuff. Yes, I say left cheek, right cheek, drop a load of this wine. Text us up in this time, put you up on this game. I be talking my friend, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype.
if I want to share, I will share. I feel yeah. like social media is more like a place where you put out what you want people to know. People think, oh, when you're an influencer, you put everything out there. Mm -hmm. But what they fail to see is that you only put what you want them to know okay. out there. Yeah, so in the end, you can't push me to say what I don't want to say. I only give you the information that I want to give you. Okay. And then aside that, I just say my name. Okay. Okay. I've been on social media for just two years. And sometimes I think it gets so frustrating. It gets so overwhelming. And I think you follow people, you die. Because most of these people that like stay on social media and you know say things to bring other people down are people who don't even believe in themselves. They're people yeah. who are actually down on themselves. They are insecure people yeah. and they are only projecting their insecurities on you. So if you allow it to get to you, you're wasting your time. Yeah. But those people, they are even they are wounded people in their homes and they are just trying to use you to make themselves feel better. Yeah. Don't, don't even allow it to get to What's like the biggest person you've ever been on social media for this one? Don't make don't <laughs> Don't what uh, my lesson your your lesson yeah. from social media. You see, as an influencer, me I learned my lesson the influencing way, okay? It's not good to have too many influencer friends like your circle like tight. Okay. In terms of maybe, oh, we are like an influencing group and we are like tight, like yeah, this is my friend, like we're a group mm -hmm. of four, or we're a group of five, or we're a group of even two, and we go and create content together because we all have the same values. Mm -hmm. Listen, when you start doing like great, when you start doing better. It's going to sting. It's not everyone that has the how do I put it? Not everyone has that thing to you know feel like oh, my okay. friend is going hard. Oh, I'm happy with my friend. I'm yeah, pushing my friend. No, a lot of people tend to end up being fake because they can't stand it. I feel like ah, but all the influencers. Why is that only you, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that only you? You are getting followers like this. Yeah, no, so jealousy. There'll be jealousy. There'll be envy and all those things. It's just some way. I, I don't like. I, I don't like bad energy. So the best thing is to just you know be cool with everybody on social media. Me, I'm cool with a lot of influencers on Instagram. Very cool with a lot of them, but we have our limits. Uh, there's not everyone that will, you know, come into my space like, that decides that, oh, let's make a content together. Oh, like my girl, I'm telling you my secrets that like, you're my friend. No, because I know for sure that I've, I've had that a couple of times and it didn't, it didn't help me. So, yeah, that's like me personally. That's what I've learned. I've learned to just stay in my lane. I know you yeah, have too many internet friends. People just come to show me and telling me that you're not supposed to dress this, you're not supposed to dress that way. Like sometimes somebody come and tell me that I shouldn't be wearing crop tops, I should be dressing a specific way, I should be covering yeah. myself. What do you think about such things? Like people telling you how to dress on social media. Everybody should just cuddle their own kin. Mm -hmm. Social media is not a platform for you to come and tell me how to live your principles. We all have different principles, we all have different ways of life, we've all been trained differently. My parents are not your parents. Yeah. What they tell you is not what they tell me. So if I want to wear what I want to wear, you don't like it, you just don't follow me. Or block me. So yeah. that I don't pop on you. But no, how dare you even come and have an opinion on my page? Obviously, before I posted it, it means it went through an editing process. Mm -hmm. I also saw it even when I was captioning it before I posted it. So you have the wrong person coming now yeah. telling me how to dress the way I want to dress. You who told you I like the way you dress? Even most of them, those who wear that long clothes, they're the ones that put things behind closed doors. Then me, that will show my. So many times I want to show it in secret. I beg you, me, those are the people. I just block them out. It is highly irrelevant to me. It's bullshit. Mm -hmm. At this point, you first said you won't talk about the way I dress. Yeah. By the way, okay, though. There are some boyfriends that will come to you and tell you that mm -hmm. I don't like the way you dress. <laughs> she dress this way. You know, you should do this. You should do that. Some boyfriends are there. They are literally controlling. Like they want to control, like they want so to what are you doing in the relationship? Why? Did I say I want to date my father? How dare you? I want to be in a relationship where my boyfriend loves me for who I am. Before you came, this is how I was. You saw me and you still asked me out. So why are you now going to tell me how to dress or how to be here? If you want a decent girl, there are so many decent girls in the market. You can get yourself one. If you want a shallow girl, you will get it because you're on the market. Yeah. If you want a girl that is half half, you will get it. I feel like every Adam has his Eve. So go and find the type you're looking for. Don't come and project the type you want onto me when it's not my personality. You can't change me. You can't change my personality. Yeah. I'm who I am. So it's either you deal with it or then you move and go and look for the one you're looking for. Period. Yeah. My whole life, I've had people texting me, talking about my body, telling me their opinions about my body. Yeah. Have you ever had such experiences? Because honestly, I feel like you have the perfect body. <laughs> But I know how human beings are, no matter what, people would definitely yeah. see something wrong with your body. People think perfection is in their eyes. They want to project a certain body type for you. And that's very, very irritating. Yeah. I don't really have like, people body shaming, but I think just recently I've had like a 
the person on to talk about me gaining weight and all. And even no matter how respectful the person tried to put it, I feel it's still insulting. Even though yeah, I yeah, personally yeah. don't care, it is very wrong to comment about somebody's body type or how the person should dress. It's just wrong because you don't know what the person's back like. What is the person going through stress? What if the person is having family issues? What if the person is in the middle of a toxic relationship? Yeah. Like, it could be anything. It could be, what if that's what I want to be? Everyone is different. The fact that in your mind, you have a particular body type as perfect. Doesn't mean by force. Because I put myself out on social media, you have to project that body on me. By force, because you watch me, I have to look like Rihanna. Or I have to look like Beyonce. If not, my body is most perfect. Go and work on your body and give yourself the body you want. And leave me out of your frustration. Because it's really annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. And it's it is very frustrating. You know, yeah. some people are there, they are already not confident in themselves. So, so when you do that, as you say, it's like, like you just get, yeah. Yeah, and most of the time, some people, they are, it's like they are pushed into a kind of. No, but the best thing is you have to not care. I mean, I always, I always say this. If people are making you feel bad about your body type, look, you can rock your body for people to even see and want to be like you. No matter your body type, I have seen very skinny people rocking some coats and acting some type of way and wish to be skinny. I've seen people who are like thick, very big and then have rocked their bodies in ways that I've wanted to, you know, have that body at least just be able to do what they are doing currently. I've seen people with different body types that have been able to rock it. So, you know, it's all about you. If people are doing it, let them do it. You know, if maybe personally it's getting to you and you don't want it, you can start working on it this by this on the side. But don't let it make you feel some type of way. Let it rather push you to even be yourself because there is no one like you. The fact that someone has seen it about you and it's supposed to be like your flaw or whatever, that's what makes you different. That's what makes you stand out. Okay. So regardless of what anyone is saying, just show out. Do what you do. Rock it. Put it in the person's face. If you think that you have the body type that is perfect, let me show you those two. Hey, shut up. You don't, you're not supposed to give an opinion on my body type or how I look. That's what you're saying. So don't let it get to you. No one should even let it get to you. If you come and talk about my body, <laughs> I will give it to you. Feel free, rock your body, rock your clothes, anything you want to wear, wear it. Okay. Anything you want to do, do it. I because in the end, it is your body and you can choose to do whatever you want. And nobody has to give an opinion. The person can also carry his or her body type and rock it in any way that the person wants. In the end, we're all living our lives personally. And your opinion is very un unnecessary. It's not needed, it's not asked for, it's uncalled for, so shut the fuck up. Period. You know, recently somebody told me that you boosted her confidence. Like, oh. she used to be very. Like sad, you know, but you really boosted her. I was really happy. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot because I hate it when people make people feel some type of way. And I've said it. Most of the people that do that are people who are not even confident in themselves. So why are you not coming to project that on me? It's not because of you that I won't be able to do what I want to do. So anyone out there, wherever you are, if you are not content in your body, from now onwards, first off, if it's something you don't want that you can work on, start with working on it. Start working on it, but then on the side, keep doing what you want to do. Ignore everybody, ignore the haters, block them all out. And when you take your mirror, tell yourself, I am beautiful. I love who I am. I love me. Ah, I'm beautiful. Rock yourself. Turn, look in the mirror. You are beautiful. Look, the moment you start saying all those things and you start seeing the beauty in yourself, nobody can tell you anything. You will look in the mirror and you will like what you see. But if you let people get into your head, now automatically, even if something is nice, you still be seeing this as, ew, ew. It's like you care so much about people's uh, opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will just put you in some, you know, form of stress and depression. Just focus on your life. Do what makes you happy. Ignore the haters. Rock your body. And just live your life. Period. You know, anytime I come here and, like, we have conversations like this, I'm here. Like, I don't know. I guess so happy. But, like, I don't know. You you are very wise. Yes, yeah, let me say that way. Like, you are very wise. And you have, I don't know. Like certain things you say, I'm like, yeah. wow, I never really thought of this in this yeah. way. And I really wanted people to know me, yeah. like that side of people yeah. to also know certain things you have to say about me. Yeah. Because I realized that as an influencer, people really listen to you a lot. So I felt like we, when mm -hmm. you also tell them, they will listen to you. I mean, you've helped me so much. We have, you've helped me so much. Anytime I have anything and I can't say, talk to me about it. Like, I don't know, I get a whole different perspective about things. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I'm really glad. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something very important from this video. And if you're a leader, go and start looking for money, work for your dirty life, and stop using that small bag <laughs> to comment rubbish and make people feel less of themselves. Yes. Why? You go to hell. Okay, guys, so that's it. So next time.
I say left cheek, right cheek, drop a load of this wine. Texas up in this thing, put you up on this gang. I be talking my friend, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me.